This wipe Irish Max Gav Karma super quickly. In fact, I'm pretty sure it was the second day we already had it maxed out. If you guys don't know, with this latest update, they've actually added basically two maps. They've revamped Shoreline, which has now got a new vehicle extract, as well as Ground Zero that's accessible up to level 20. So if you didn't know, every time you extract with a vehicle, you do gain Scav Karma. With the addition of these two new locations, that now means that there is seven total locations with vehicle extracts. But half of these are actually 100% spawn chance, being these two new locations being on Shoreline and Ground Zero, as well as Woods. So what I've done is I actually extracted seven times on these three maps to get a total of 3.12 Scav Karma. With this, it brought me just over the halfway threshold when it comes to your six Scav Karma. Interchange, Customs, Streets, and Lighthouse also has vehicle extracts. Now, in my opinion, Customs is one of the easiest. You've got so many tasks that end up at dorms. I actually did another seven extracts at that location for a total of 1.4 Scav Karma. That got me up to 4.16 Scav Karma. If you find this guide useful in any sort of way, please leave a like and subscribe. And also don't forget to come over to the live stream over on twitch.tv slash piranha where I am live five days a week. So for me, being the most confident, customs was the best. After that one, it is purely down to what you are most confident with when it comes to interchange streets and lighthouse. I do not like Lighthouse, so I actually haven't extracted from Lighthouse yet. So what I did was I actually extracted from Interchange five times with a total of 0.91 scav rep. When it comes to Interchange, you want to bring yourself a not the best loadout because what you can do is sprint straight there. If you get a spawn that's kind of close, you can run straight there. Of course, it might not be up, so then you can just take the bagless extract. So don't bring a bag when you do that. And then again, for me, I extracted five times from that location for a total of 0.91. 91 scav rep and then the other location i actually hit up was on streets i extracted from streets four times at the time of doing this video for a total of 0.84 scav rep and then with that added on to interchange that's 1.75 which then leaves me with a 5.91 scav karma and then because i do my scav runs in the middle it's only survived nine scav runs and then boom you got yourself your max scav rep and then you can get yourself your labs key cards your red flares all the good stuff from uh, having your max scav if you guys are curious on how the extract reputation is actually calculated it's 0.4 divided by how many times you've extracted so if you extracted from the location two times it's going to be 0.2 or if you've extracted from the location five times, it's going to be 0.08. So when you have got your screen up and it shows you your calculations, that's how you can work out how many times you've actually extracted from that location. Also, just to add, you can actually get run throughs for this and it will calculate towards your scav karma. Another way of gaining scav karma is through the use of carb extracts as a scav or a PMC. Now, instead of it being 0.4 each time you extract from a carb extract, it's actually starting from 0.25. For instance, it still gets calculated the exact same way as the PMC extract. So let's say you've extracted four times, you are going to be dividing 0.25 by four, which is 0.0. 625 so just bear that in mind and that is per location now another way of getting scav karma is obviously through your extracts as well as complete the scav tasks once you unlock that through fence i will say some of them are absolutely nutty you don't always have to complete them and if there's one that's telling you to kill scavs it's not recommended because you will actually end up losing scav rep when it comes to killing pmcs as a scav you will also gain reputation through that as well as well as helping a scab boss or a scab guard. So if they're actually getting attacked by a PMC at the current point in time, you can then turn around and kill that PMC and you will get a, a pretty juicy bonus. If you end up helping out a scab boss at 0.05, as well as a scab boss guard at 0.02 plus on top of the scav rep that you've got for killing that PMC. Now, as we know, there are traitor scabs dotted around the game 
if you were to kill those is 0.03 as well now when it comes to actually the rewards of doing your scav karma apart from loading in with really awesome loot there's a few things that can help it will lower the fee amount on your car extraction so i think i pay like a thousand rubles for my car extracts on customs for instance now there is a btr on streets which is like a btr taxi service on your pmc you will get a larger grid size depending on what your scav karma is now the largest if you are scav rep six plus you actually get six by four inventory when you are going to be sending out your um your loot and then if you have the worst one it is actually a one by one which is really bad let's be honest so if you've got something on you that's really highly valuable you don't think you're going to make it to the extract but you want it to stay fan and raid you can use the btr taxi stash of course your scav case in your hideout is going to be very good Fences payout for items sold to him would actually be increased. With the karma of plus six, players get an additional sales tab on fence that offers a 30% discount. So if you look up, you use this little crown icon, you click on that and you get all the good loot. So you can get Wi-Fi cameras quite cheap there instead of paying 300k on the flea market. You can get it nice and cheap at that location. One of the biggest benefits is your scavs timers are going to be extremely short. And it ends up getting to the point for me if i'm working and i want to do some scav runs at, at, whilst i'm working it could end up being extremely beneficial because i do my entire scav run sell everything off and then boom the scavs are ready to go again i just keep going it over and over again you can also control scavs in game you can give them like uh, commands to follow you to hold position etc all that kind of stuff so one of the best things with six plus scav karma scav bosses and scav guards will actually not fire on you so this means, let's say, for instance, Caban, right? If you go to Caban's fortress, he's got some really good stuff lurking in that place. It means that you can actually go in there, loot everything whilst Caban is. And then let's be honest, there's a load of scavs that don't understand about the system that are actually going to end up rushing in and dying before they can actually, well, stay safe. So you can end up looting those dead scavs as well that can also spawn with good stuff. So it's, it's really good and they're such an easy money maker. It's actually how I got Max Hideout already because of having max scav it's such good money when you have max scav and it's worth the pain and the effort of farming it asap so that you can reap the rewards early on whilst everything on the flea market is really high priced hopefully you guys found that guide useful if you did don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe also if you're looking for someone to play with or you need help with a task we do have a helpline which is like the sherpa system over at toc.gg which is the outcast we also run some tournaments and all that kind of fun stuff so don't forget to head over there as well and a huge thank you to all of my channel supporters over on patreon twitch and youtube and a special thank you to the zebra jathari kadistri dingwam davidoff crystal math x liquid smoke blaze 84000 and the river king 